Okay, sig fig calculations. Let's talk about it. So when we add and subtract, we look at the places to the decimal point. Add or subtract in the normal fashion, so use your calculator to get your answer. Then round your answer to the least number of places to, to the decimal point of any number in the problem. So that's what it is in words. It's easier to look at it as if we were actually doing it. So that's what we're going to do. So here's your examples. Um, I'm taking this plus this plus this plus this. And I want to go the least number of uh, decimal places. And it would be this number right here. I have two after the decimal while the rest of them have more. So when I get my answer, I want to round it to the least number of decimal places, which is two. For number two, I look at my decimal places, least numbers. This one, so when I get my answer, I want to round to the least number of decimal places, which is one. Do this one, subtract. Three decimal places, four. I want to round to three decimal places here. And on this one, this number and this number, this one has the least number of decimal places, so that will be five decimal places. Show the examples now. Okay, so the addition, subtraction, uh, problems, the examples, I typed them in the calculator and got these answers, uh, talked about what I would round to um, in the examples on earlier, so I'm just going to show you how we would round the number then. So for number one, we want to round to the two, des two places after the decimal, so I want to round to here, four tells me to leave it alone, 24.61. Number two, I want to round to one place after the decimal, so I want to round here, Four tells me to leave it alone, 156.8. Number three, I want to round to three places after the decimal, which is here, 21.170. And lastly, number four, I want to round to five places after the decimal, one, two, three, four, five. Six tells me to round up. So with addition and subtraction, number of sig figs isn't as important as accuracy of the measurement, and that's how we round. Okay, now with multiplication and division, um, here's a rule that's, that's different than addition and subtraction. Um, it goes by the least number of sig figs, and any number of the problem determines the number of sig figs in the answer. So we must recognize significant figures of all the numbers that we're multiplying and dividing by in order to use this rule. So. For example, 2.5 times 3.42, two sig figs, three sig figs. When I get my answer, I want to round it to two sig figs. Here, I got three sig figs and four sig figs. I want to round my answer to three sig figs. So when I do the math, I want to round it to three sig figs because of this number. Three, four, two. How many sig figs in the answer? Two. So when I do the math, I want to round it to two sig figs. Insert example now. Okay, multiplication and division, though all of these uh, problems are multiplication, you can still apply the same thing to division. So, number one, um, we said two sig figs. So I round my answer to two sig figs. Five tells me to round up 8.6. Number two, I want to round to three sig figs. One, two, three. One tells me to leave it alone. Number three, I want to round to two sig figs. One, two, seven tells me to round up, which would be 30. Uh, for 30 by itself, one sig fig. I need two sig figs. How do I make the number 30 have two sig figs? All you have to do, add a decimal. When I put a decimal here, it's still 30, but that makes that trailing zero significant. Two sig figs, this answer rounded to two sig figs is 30 decimal. If you have any questions about any of these examples, please ask during class. Thank you.